Hey guys, Daniel here from RX Smart Gear Australia. I wanted to give you a comparison between our three grips, our RX Smart Grips, our uh, Smart AF Grips, and the Alex Smith Grips. Now, there's distinct differences between the three, and we uh, uh, separate those differences mainly between the finger loops and which side the finger loops are going to be on. So if we take the RX Smart Grips uh, to start off with, we have finger loops on the same side as the grip. So if a hand's going to go in, the finger loops are on the same side. With the, the AF, AF grips, the finger loops are on the opposite side. And then with the Alex Smith grips, there's no finger loops in there. Okay, so there's a distinct difference between the three. And what we're going to do is just show you the differences when they're actually on the hand as well. So the way that we, we put these grips on, this is the, the smart grip. It's going to go in, it's going to be finger loop, it's going to be on the second knuckle there. The buckle's on the outside. We'll then pop our buckle on, our wrist strap on. And we see we've got coverage across the palm and the fingers there, okay? When you go up onto the bar, you're going to want to in, uh, encourage a fold, so it does get a little bit of a fold in the fabric there, which we'll demonstrate now. Jump up on the bar and encourage that fold. So that's the smart grips. Now in comparison to the AF grips, you've got the finger loops on the other side. So the way that you put these on, you're going to fold that fabric back, put the loops in, and AF in smart AF grips stands for automatic fold. So what you've got there is because the finger loops are on the opposite side, you have that automatic fold in the leather straight away. So if we're going to be gripping that bar, rather than encouraging the fold on the smart grips, we have the grip straight away. So demonstrating that. And then lastly, we have the Alex Smith grips. Again, a little bit different there. There's no finger loops or holes there. The other addition is there is this neoprene strap and Velcro. So that adds a little bit of extra comfort around the wrist. It can act uh, like a wrist, uh, wrist guard, wrist support there. And it also covers the buckle. So if at any stage that buckle can get uh, into the wrist, you've got that neoprene there uh, to stop that getting into the wrist. So as you can see, no finger loops or holes in there. Put it on in the same way, you have the buckle on the outside. And there's the grip on. Now this is a large, I use a large. You're looking at that and see that the fabric doesn't extend past the fabric's fingers when you have it across the palm. But it is again the way that you cup the fabric when you grip onto the bar. So again, you're gonna to wanna to encourage that dowel effect and fold as you jump up on the bar, which we'll demonstrate in a sec. So you've got coverage all the way through the palm and up to the fingers there. So what not to do? What to do? In terms of selecting your grip, it is going to be personal preferences. Uh, there is going to be a lot of differences between the three which we have explained. Uh, one thing we didn't mention is the thickness of the grip. The AF and Smart Grips are going to be uh, of similar thickness, whereas the Alex Smith Grips are going to be significantly thicker and the rig, but each of those grips are uh, all made out of leather, they're very hardy, they are inbuilt with the uh, band keeper, so if you do want to take the, the grips off and put it into the wrist strap at any time, uh, you have that option as well. So, any questions, feel free to leave comments below.